Hi, I'm Tanya Crotty, a senior lecturer in the School of Medical Sciences at the University of Adelaide. I coordinate and teach several courses including human biology to first year nursing students and investigative cell biology to third year uh, science and health science students. When I'm not teaching, I carry out research in the field of osteoimmunology. This is a relatively new research field and involves investigating the feedback between the immune system and the skeletal system. My specific interest is in bone degeneration that occurs adjacent to areas of inflammation with rheumatoid arthritis and periodontal disease. Because of my interest in bone, I'd like to show you the Abbey Museum here at the University of Adelaide. This muse museum contains normal and unusual human skeletons and bones, as well as many different animal skeletons for comparison, including a skeleton of, from a 44-year-old Asian elephant that had been at the Adelaide Zoo for many years. When you look at the bones on display in the museum, like for example this humerus bone, they typically appear hard, inert and lifeless. But in a living person's bones, they are dynamic, constantly changing structures made up of different cell types and tissues, with about 10% turning over every year in a normal human skeleton. Your task is to try to work out how many different types of connective tissue are present in living bone. Where are these different connective tissues located in a living bone? And what is their function? You can find the answers to these questions in the Bone Interactive. 